So guys, Kevin here. I have a tutorial on the shine rings effect. So this is basically how it will look. Um, these rings going around the scope uh, is the shine ring effect. So let's get started. I imported my footage uh, and twisted it right here. So you make a new composition, make it 5000, 5000. And you can just rename it if you want, like shine rings effect tutorial. When you're in here, you add a solid, and the solid uh, has to be 500 by 500. After you've uh, after you've added the solid, you go up here, choose ellipse, and then double uh, left click on the mouse. What it will do is uh, it will make a mask uh, that's a circle, and you go to effects and presets, right and fill, add the fill into the circle. And just choose a color. We just take blue. After you've done that, you go down here to the mask, duplicate the mask. Instead of uh, instead of add, you make it subtract. And press this little arrow, and the mask expansion you make minus sixty. Okay. So after you've done that, you add a grid and we can just zoom in a little bit choose the pen tool go right here um, yeah like so and then choose subtract we can just make this a little bigger okay uh, duplicate these a couple of times um, Press Ctrl T and rotate it so that it will look like this. I know it's a bit like sloppy, but I'm just rushing this so you guys can use this effect very fast. Um, like so. Whoops. Mask 5. Um. Seven and now we're almost done. Yep. Yeah. So after you have done all of this, you go up here, press R for rotation, add the three D layer, and then you keyframe it at the set at the set position. Uh no, uh, rotation. Sorry. Uh, whoops. Uh, key from it right here. Go to the end, and make it four times. What it will do is that it will make it spin around like so. Okay, let's take away the grid. When you're in here, you just add the shine effect and press S for scale. Scale it down and make it fit into the scope. Yeah. Okay. Now what you want to do is uh, you have to get a plugin called uh, Trap Code Shine. You can search it up on YouTube uh, and find a download link. Um, but uh, Shine. And let's add it to this. Let's make the ray length 0.5. Let's just say 35. I think that's pretty good. And then what you want to do is go to colorize and choose one color or whatever you want to do. Um, what I do is I make it a nice white color. I'm just I'm not going to make it this bright, just like um, like so. Uh, after you've done that, you go down here to the composition, right click. Uh, blending mode and choose add that would uh, do like this and what you can do is um, add a little glow to the shine and change the radius to 120 like so 
So now if we have a look on with color correction on, it will look like this. Oh, one sec. Um, we just make it full. Like so. And then it will go around. Go but uh, I'm just going to pause the video and um, run a preview so you guys can see what it looked like. Okay, bye. Hey guys, I'm back and it's almost done rendering. We just do it like this and then you can have a look. I think it's perfect. It's so yeah, if you enjoyed this little tutorial, leave a like, press the subscribe button and please leave an awesome comment. Um, I also have a new channel, it's called 2D Cinematics. We upload um, 2D motion track template, color correction template, uh, well, not template, uh, presets, and lots of more stuff. So, have a look on our channel, and see you later. Bye.